Hello. <laughs> Hello there everyone, I really hope that you are doing well. Today, it's a Q&A type of thing. Just straight away before I jump into the questions, if you're liking the look of my makeup, it will be the next video that comes out on my channel. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss it. This little mellow yellow number, you'll see how to do it in the next video. So I popped on Instagram and I asked, what do you want to know? Q&A time. Du -du -du. You know, the general, the general. Let's have a look what Peep's been asking, shall we? Right, so Nicole asks, what inspired you to start vlogging? Hi, Nicole. If you've known me for a long time, how it sort of started was that I had a blog back in the day called Just Jolie. I still have it, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not write on it anymore. I don't have the time. It makes me very sad, actually, because I do enjoy writing them. The main goal was kind of to start making videos because I really enjoy watching videos. So it was just kind of building up me bravery. <laughs> and then I took the leap, made my first video about four years ago now so yeah it's been a long run what inspired me basically just enjoying watching that's kind of it it's like a big fat interest of mine <laughs> so i just thought let's give it a go thank you for the question <laughs> next question helena hello helena how are you doing how's london <laughs> she asks your fave tunes at the moment very good question, Helena, very good question. I've got to go straight on my Spotify and let's have a wee little look. So straight away, Lewis Capaldi is popping up. Very much enjoying the new album and he's a very funny lad. Favourite song from his album actually is probably Hollywood. What a bloody tune. If you haven't heard it, you need a listen. It is cracking. Oh, okay. Obviously come back off my holidays. And this song I very much like. Um, it's by the DMAs and it's called Tape Deck Sick. I'm going to get copyright striked if I put it on. I'll put two seconds on. Yeah, give it a listen because it's actually a lush song. And if it's a sunny day, it's one of those. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, so I enjoy that. What else have I been listening to? Oh, Bastille have a new album out that just popped up. I'm sure I'll be enjoying that. Oh, Making Waves by Father Son. Yeah. Listen to that. It's an absolute tune. I think that's your lot. Lewis Capaldi, DMAs, bit of Father Son. And I've been re enjoying Busted fully. Like the whole collection of Busted has been giving me vibes of goodness once again. <laughs> Holly, hello Holly. Holly asks, what is your dream holiday? It has been and it will be until I go New Zealand. And if I didn't have a job, and I had nothing to get back to, it would be like do all of New Zealand and all of Australia all in one. I would also love, oh, with all my heart, to do like a road trip of America. That would be amazing. Oh, Japan. There's a lot of places that are in the dreams, like Japan and China for the food, but the way of living scares me and the amount of humans scares me which is why maybe i think japan is a bit less populated than china so maybe just japan as the dreams <laughs> yeah lots of dreams lots of holidays me and tom kind of made a bit of like a on the holiday we just got back from we said we are going to do like a bigger holiday next year just for like the bucket list and feeling like i'm happy with life <laughs> So yeah, holy cheeky devil, you've asked too. Favourite quote from The Office? Holly, how dare you? I basically can't choose, to be frank. The one that's springing to mind, bear in mind, like obviously there are so many, but the one that's springing to mind is when Stanley is telling off Ryan for like talking to his daughter and he's like, boy, have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it around her anymore this afternoon do you understand yes, boy have you lost your mind because no, no, no. i'll help you find it i'm gonna put that one but there are about four billion others liberty hello liberty hello 
she asks, what would your bio be on Tinder? Now I have never enjoyed the, the frivolous fun that is Tinder, because I had a boy from the time that it came to be. <laughs> That's really hard. These are the kinds of things, if I actually was going to start doing Tinder, <laughs> like all them young kids, it would take me about four hours. Like that would be my daily task, would be finding, you know, the perfect one. So you asking this to me just to say off the cuff is actually really rude. My Twitter bio for about four years, I think it probably still is this, is um, I'm a mushroom a real fun guy so i'm gonna just say that because i feel like i would get a lot of swipe rights if that's the right direction <laughs> yash okay what else we got we've got my lovely lovely pal gaveen who asks two questions people will just think they can do anything on these questions <laughs> but thank you <laughs> and gaveen asks do you regret cutting your own hair again <laughs> Thanks Gabine for the sassiness. Um, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear it. If you don't know, two videos back, I cut my own hair. It used to be down here. If you wanna watch that process, click here. I don't, you know, I really don't because I don't care enough to regret it. No, it is not the perfect length everywhere, but am I still breathing? Is the world still turning? Does it look semi-passable? All the answers are yes. Don't get me wrong, there are days when like the parting changes and I have this random long bit and I just snip it off because I just don't care. But I have booked um, a professional haircut in about a month. To be fair, it is mainly because it's my 21st coming up and I don't really want this shabby chic bob. I would rather like a really nice bob if I can so yes I don't regret it but I am getting it done professional soon so if you take that as regret you do so <laughs> and Gaveen also asks what inspires you for your YouTube videos Gaveen I don't really know <laughs> fellow much better youtubers give me a lot of inspo I don't copy inspo also comes just from like my interest what i find makes me passionate at the time i felt a real urge to cut my hair so i stuck the camera on and i cut my hair <laughs> i work in fashion so when i do like fashion videos it often comes from like workplace you know trend talking and things like that one video that i really enjoyed making and felt quite inspired to make was my most recent how to style a t-shirt video I would really appreciate if um, you haven't seen that, go watch it and leave me some feedback. I've left it just as like a one-off, but I might like to sort of make that a more continuous video style. So please let me know what you like about it, if you don't like anything about it. Give us some ideas for some more if you do like it. Cheers. <laughs> The final two questions are from my very good pal Emma, she is currently on a digital detox so she's had to send these through WhatsApp. Uh, I don't quite know how that works Emma but um, let's go with it. First she asks what do you see yourself doing in five years time? Emma that's a loaded question that fills me with fear and anxiety <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah, I don't know. I know that I would love to be sort of work for myself one day or at least strive for that. Yeah, I know that I'm quite creative. Yeah, that's really hard. The main dream is to own my own house. That is like, I know you said what you'd see yourself doing, but that fills me with fear. So I'm just gonna say, where do I see myself? So that would be happy living in my own property, hopefully still with Mr. Tomo. <laughs> yeah, her second question. Oh, there you go. If you could give up your day job and do YouTube, would you? 
yeah a hundred percent i would although i one million percent see quite a lot of the downsides of like youtube even that like self-employment and that pressure to churn out content to earn money rather than doing it as a hobby which i do now the freedom that it gives you the traveling opportunities not even so much paid trips but you can do your job on the move i just find even that so attractive so yeah a million percent i would quit the day job for youtube or something of that caliber i think it takes a hell of a lot more than a lot of people think and it's a harder job i would say than people probably think and i am like well aware of those struggles even just doing like one video a week <laughs> I find quite difficult with a job but I would be like up for the struggle I think for the reward and even just like the creative platform you can literally churn out anything if you set your mind to it and if you really put your heart and soul into it people fingers crossed are gonna watch it so yeah i love the idea of it we have two cracking questions from the garm farm Haley, hello and she asks number one who is your all-time favorite drag queen who is your all-time favorite drag queen and why what a question, Hayley. Kudos to you. Can we all just give Hayley a round of applause? Wow, that is incredibly hard. But I don't think I've ever laughed so much as I believe it was season seven, Bianca Del Rio. Oh, that woman is the funniest person I have ever watched. The most quick-witted, the shadiest the best in my opinion for like looks and things sasha velour or aquaria but yeah if i was to go like all-time fave bianca del rio what a queen <laughs> the second question is favorite clothing brand and why wow okay okay ooh, ooh, ooh. this is a hard one because i've kind of stopped buying clothes because of this whole eco fear thing like i am just feeling terrified to buy anything pretty much <laughs> especially high street brands i used to love a primark shop i used to love the onliners the misguideds the pretty little things but i've really sort of cut them out to be honest if i buy better quality and things i absolutely love so that i actually get the wear out of them and the brand that definitely comes to mind is whistles if you don't know whistles they're kind of a slightly higher market high street brand some of their stuff i just absolutely adore so if you want to have a look at them then feel free that is a hard question at the moment i am really just doubting everything <laughs> but thank you Haley. those were some cracking questions kudos to you I've had me dinner, I'd polished this video off, it was all over, but I got a question that I just couldn't pass up. Ben, my biggest fan, asked what is your favourite biscuit? Ben, I love a ginger nut in more ways than one. And with that, I bid you good night. <laughs> Genuinely love a ginger nut thank you so much to anyone who sent questions in i really do appreciate it feel free to follow me on my instagram which is just julie underscore if you would like to be part of any videos upcoming like this because if i ever do a q a that's how i get my questions if you made it to the end honestly thank you anyone who consistently watches my videos i really do just want to say like a massive thank you for the support any support is so appreciated. Pop this a wee little like if you did enjoy it and please subscribe to become part of that community and to see more of me on a weekly basis. I really hope you're having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!